We've been together a long time, buddy. We've and been I'm in battles together. I'm sorry no, that I appreciate um, you. we're even having this conversation. And uh, I, I would have been here sooner if I possibly could be. And um, I want to address all your concerns, but I just want to say uh, all that matters to me in all this is the friendships I have. Yeah. They're important to me. And, now, and we're going to have some disagreements. Oh, yeah. And people are yeah. going to say some things that are a little sharp. But um, I do. I'm, you're not only my friend. I love you. And I have a lot of respect for you. And I know that you have had a, a not an easy path. In politics, and you and I have been in some of oh, these yeah. back rooms yep. in this very place yep. um, on some of those paths, and I just wanted you to know that. I appreciate that. No, I appreciate that very much, and, and I think, you know, my concern, and we were just talking about this, my concern about what was said last night at the dinner was how it reflects on this organization, sure. which I've been a part for a long time. I've spoken at and have supported, but more broadly what it says about the party that we've both been active in and involved in. And that concerns me, and I don't know what gave Ian, in his role as communications director, the comfort to think that he could go before this, this body and, and I'll put it direct, disrespect you as its, as its chairman, disrespect the attendees. Did he somehow think that this was somehow going to be acceptable to say? Um, and, and, and that to me for, is, is the frustration because look, you and I, as you said, we've been in the wars together. I've known Matt and his family from the very beginning, uh, and it ain't about any of that. It's about how we as Republicans, conservatives, fighting the same good fight, um, as you know, disagreeing at times uh, along the way, can get others in the party beyond this seemingly reliance to go there, to put everything in a racial context, and to undermine the very efforts of leaders like yourself and myself uh, in trying to expand, expand this party and its reach into communities of color uh, across the country. Okay, so I guess I would say the first thing, in all candor, Ian is my colleague at work, right. and he's my friend, mm -hmm. and I love Ian, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to separate myself from Ian. All right. I think he said some words that the worst people our political enemies could take in the worst way. Um, this is radio. Uh, you don't get to see Ian's skin color in this radio program. Ian is someone who also understands what it's like to be somebody who has uh, racial challenges in the political system. Which we've system. talked about, by the but way. But let, let me just keep rolling here. That being said, Michael, mm -hmm. this is the Conservative Political Action Conference. Everyone decides what lane they want to be in politically. You have been in a lane where you've been rather critical. Let's be honest. I watch you. I go on MSNBC. I watch you. You watch me. All right. You have been rather critical of some of the more conservative aspects of the Trump phenomenon and this Trump right. agenda. Right. You're a good pro-life man. Right. But there's a lot of other things that you might spend time on this radio show talking about. And I think what Ian was getting to the heart of that was there are people who are critics of some of the things you did right. as you were chairman. Right. And that... There could be truth to the fact that some people picked you as chairman because we constantly do this in Republican circles about, hey, here's a new face for the party, right? right? And he thinks that, that he feels that there are criticisms of how you were chairman. Now, can you accept that that could be no. what he's coming at and not a racial? No, no I don't. Because he won, I'm no. going to say this, no, 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 he won me... on the sixth ballot. Yeah. How I, do you get picked because yeah. of your color when first you went off, on the sixth ballot? First off, he, I, I, all due respect. Come at me. <laughs> what the hell does that my race have to do with any of that at the end of the day? What does the color of my skin have to do with anything you just said? Yeah, I disagree with the direction this president is taking conservatism in this country because I call BS on a lot of it. When you can't stand the ground on Charlottesville, I'm going to call it out. I have to be authentic and true to myself. You do. All right? So that has nothing to do with... But it's not just Charlottesville where you've been a critic. I, I've been a critic on policy. On, on a lot of things. A lot of things. So you mean to tell me that as a black conservative, put it in that context, but let alone as a conservative, I can't be critical of the president? You can be, but as you know, that there are a lot of people, I think, take race out of it. Yeah. If you look at the criticism, but he injected he race injected into it. it. Did that was the I, I would agree with you. So again, those those words that tumbled out of his mouth, right, 
I believed were unfortunate words. It was stupid. And it's not unfortunate. Call it what it is. It's, and he and, and, and it, all, it, it is stupid to sit there and say that we elected a black man chairman of the party and that was a mistake. But it, do you do you know how that sounds to the black community? Yes, I know. And do you know how that sounds to Americans? I do. I do. And do you know how they then equate that level of stupidity to conservatism? That's me. That's the objection I have about the moment. I we're know, in. but he called you. He called you. He felt terrible. About I know how he did. I talked sounded. to him. That doesn't change anything. But but it's important for people to know that he realized that the words could come out in a way where it looks like I it's and the, I said that. But I, don't take yeah. the worst out of what he said. You know him. <laughs> I know. But <laughs> this is where you need to have some grace. Look at what. Wait a minute. Wait. What the hell do I have to be graceful for? Well, you've not been very graceful. To, you've not been very graceful to the Republicans and the conservatives in this hall have, and in this room again, for a very well, long period of time. You, you, you have your critics. I don't, I, that's ten years later. He was talking about why Michael was Steele elected chairman. Was elected chairman. That's what the hell does that have to ago, do with long anything? Before President Trump. All I will say is, is this: <laughs> Michael Steele. I don't want to be on the show saying this. I, this is not where I want to be this morning. But not everybody. You don't have universal praise. I don't for care how you point. were chairman. I don't. And if you okay, then is your point is that we should be for the best person, including uh, a black man or black woman, to be the head of the RNC? I'm with you a thousand all percent. All right. So, so let a me thousand percent. Let me just put this in in terms that I think everybody will understand. That I've spent 41 years in this party. 41. All right. I've taken crap you have no idea about, and I've carried this baggage. And for him to stand on that stage and denigrate my service to this party, and for you as a friend to sit here and sit there and go, well, you've been critical of the party. There's only one word I can say, and I can't say it on this air. Say it. No, I can't no, because can't. the FCC won't allow it. Well, why can't? Because the reality of it is, why can't you hear what I have to I say? I heard about what it. you have to say, and it's not acceptable. It is accept. I get that, but it's not about that. I know people what are. It, look, what is this about, Matt? I know people. You think are, you think Matt, Ian's are, you think Matt, Ian hates I know you because people, of your skin color? You really Matt, think that, Matt? Matt, do you really think Matt, that? Do I think what? You think Ian hates you because of your skin color? I don't color? know what Ian thinks. I don't know what Ian. But I do you really think I, that is plausible? Look, all I can say is two minutes. It's a reflection of what he was thinking at the time. No. All right. And so this, but not again, everything. Now when people are critical of Michael Steele, it is not why always are you because making, of race. Wait, how did I become the person yeah, here I now? Mean, you is, know, is, you that's know, you know what, Matt, the problem. If, if Ian, if, wait, wait, wait. If, if Ian, I'm just wait, talking. Wait, 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 let me I'm just something. talking. Let me say Jesus. something. If Ian had wanted, oh in the context God. of his speech, to criticize the Michael Steele administration. Right, as the chairman. All right, that's a whole different story. But when you stand up there and you say we we only picked him because he was a black man, and boy, that didn't work out. That was the problem, and it's important that that be recognized. I mean, look, we I had this conversation on your panel yesterday. We did. Republicans don't seem to understand. There's a lot of folks out there in a lot of communities that could come your way, but when if I'm a member of the black community and I heard what he said last night, I agree with you. They hate me. I'm not going to go I, I, there. I agree. I agree. But I think Michael also knows that that's not where we. That's not where our heart is. But that's what he said. One minute. It is the words he used. And it's we not got where one minute. It's not where his we heart is. Wrap up. So let me, Why do you think I'm here? I, I, I think and I'm I, here. And I appreciate I you being here, but I, I, I don't want to leave this uh, on the table without addressing it. I'm not sitting here again saying people can't criticize me for how I led the RNC. I get criticized for a lot of stuff. That's not what it's about. You criticize me because I'm black. That's a whole different conversation. That's my you job. Stand up on the you stand up on the stage and you go, well, we only did this because he's black. That's like, just, me, only, that's like saying to me, I only got into guys, Georgetown we got, Law we got School because seconds. I was black. We got 20 seconds. I would seconds, just say, so. remember... Michael, I still love you. I Stay can understand here. why you might not love me, but I'm, I'll, I'll take the licks on this one. I think it was not our best moment, but don't always jump to the conclusion that just because people use inarticulate words that they have it in for you. I, I think, didn't think I he th had it in for me. It's just stupid.